up. It's episode 9. This is going to actually be my last episode of the video blog unless I have a really popular demand to come back with videos because I realize that these videos take a lot longer than I expected and so I'm just going to cut it here with the introduction of the uh, the Global Interactions Unit. So let me know what you think and we'll see if I can make some more videos in the future. This last episode is going to be about examining the contrasting rates, uh, levels, and patterns of adoption of an element of ICT in two countries. So I thought about choosing the internet. We already talked about the internet. And I figured what was next was mobile phones. So we're going to look at mobile phones. The first thing that we have to do is we have to choose two countries. So I'm going to look at Luxembourg and Kenya. Since we're in Luxembourg and since Kenya is a unique situation in Africa with its use of mobile phones. The first um, link here goes to list of countries by number of mobile phones in use. China at the top because they've got over a billion people and their, their um, mobile phone penetration rate is actually quite, quite strong. Anyways, India right after that, the United States. You might be asking why do people have um, potentially more phones if you look number of mobile phones is bigger than the total population. Um, I assume that it's a work in a and a uh, personal phone. So if you've got more than one phone, uh, they're going to calculate that and they're going to count that into the, the count. So it's a, a bit telling, but at the same time, um, who, who's to say that mm, you know more people have two phones and some people don't have any. So this, this is uh, a little bit tricky because this makes it seem like everybody has a phone, but um, it could be that some people have two and some people don't have any, so it's it's hard to say. Uh, I want to bring your attention. Luxembourg isn't on this list, but down here at number 32 is Kenya. And again, this is the total population, and this is the number of mobile phones. So you can see 71% or 71 out of 100 people are using phones. Um, this is actually pretty high if you consider that uh, it's more total phone use than Canada and Netherlands. So obviously the population's going to be a significant factor in that, but the fact that the the Kenyans are using more mobile phones than some Western countries is pretty telling as well. So let's get into the data with regards to the number of inhabitants that, um, or the number of people that have mobile phone subscriptions. And I put a couple extra countries on here, the United States and China, just to, to add a bit of style to this. So if we're look, looking at Luxembourg and Kenya, you'll notice that Luxembourg has far more mobile phones and uh, basically grew at a faster rate than Kenya earlier on, whereas Kenya had a delay uh, in the number of mobile phone subscriptions that they they got, but have now got to the point where they're, they're leveling off. I predict that this is this leveling off has to do with the fact that either there's not enough towers in the country and so the reception is no good or um, because a lot of people live in rural areas or because people in rural areas just don't want cell phones and are not connected uh, to the um, to the towers. So uh, the United States and China noticed the, the J curve here with China and its, and its massive growth in the last couple of decades and uh, the number of people using mobile phones almost basically one-to-one. -one. United States leveling off here, um, 95 out of 100 people using mobile phones, so a pretty high percentage. If we look at um, coverage, I like this map, I've got a couple of these. This shows coverage in Luxembourg and if you can see here, you can kind of make the outline of Luxembourg. Basically this is the outline of Luxembourg and you'll notice that uh, the area where there's high population, this is pretty standard um, correlation where high, high population areas tend to have uh, better coverage, obviously, for you know obvious re reasons, but um, pretty good coverage, actually, pretty strong uh, network coverage. If we compare that to uh, Kenya, Kenya's is a little bit spottier, as you can see. Um, the population centers of Nairobi and Mombasa uh, have pretty good coverage and then as you get into the west and then to the uh, the mountains here um, it's it's good in the cities but then it, it fades away and there's not as good a coverage in the in the rural areas so if we zoom in you can actually see pretty uh, pretty clear what's going on there now I just want to zoom out real quick 
and show you what this looks like because it's kind of cool. Um, you'll notice significant differences between, let's say, South Africa and population centers there. Um, if you take a look at India and their coverage, I mean, it's pretty amazing. Thailand is completely green here with its coverage. So there are some areas around the world. Look at this. I don't know what that is. Probably a river or something. But um, there are areas all over the world that have pretty amazing coverage, pretty good coverage. You'll notice that Europe is all blocked out. United States as well, except for the Rocky Mountains, basically. So, yeah, so there's that. Um, I want to talk about Kenya, too, because Kenya, as far as, you know, figuring out these statistics and looking at how quickly the, the mobile phone subscriptions have grown, um, Kenya uses what is called M-Pesa, and M-Pesa basically is a mobile phone, um, a way to pay and to use money on a mobile phone, and it was created basically to help pay back microfinance loans and has more or less evolved into almost a full-fledged banking system where you can give money to a person that will top your, your, your phone bank account up and then you can move money around the, the country and it's allowed many different applications to take place with regards to, uh, to mobile phone payments. And so M-Pesa, you got to check this out, read about it, watch some videos on it. It's, it's pretty incredible um, considering the, the, the ease of access and the, um, the way that they're adopting this ICT uh, you know, feature into their, their daily lives. So that's pretty much it. Um, I don't really think I have much more to say than that. If you look at Luxembourg and you look at Kenya, there's a clear difference in the, in the total uh, number of users. Again, Luxembourg's up here. I don't know why this, this froze here, but um, this is like 140 plus. Again, working, working uh, personal phones is what I believe that to be, that, that significant difference between 100 out of 100 inhabitants having a phone or 140 out of 100 inhabitants having a phone, I guess. That, that would probably be business and, and work, but, or business and, and, uh, and personal. I'm just rambling now. That's it. I hope you guys help, uh, like this globalization unit, and I hope it all helps. So study hard, and good luck on your exams.